morning guys and welcome to or back to the coffee shop project if you've never seen my face before my name is Elle and I am a novice coffee connoisseur for the past month I've been traveling across the state of Tennessee I've visited Chattanooga Nashville and Franklin four local coffee shops documenting the experience and then sharing it here with you guys when I was developing the concept for the coffee shop project I knew that I wanted every fourth episode to be an episode back in my kitchen at home developing my barista skills and continuing to document that and sharing it here we're kicking off today with roast which I'm super pumped about but before we dive into that I wanted to share with you the books that I'm gonna be basing all of the coffee shop project at home episodes off of so I bought three books only two of them have come it's been like three weeks longest I've ever waited for a package in my life but we have two here so it's a good starting point the first one is called how to make coffee and it works through a lot of brewing methods and roasting tips all sorts of cool things so I'm gonna be primarily basing the tutorials and learning off of that book and then to supplement it I also bought craft coffee which goes more in depth with the processes and how to make coffee so they marry together really well and then the third book I have coming is the coffee dictionary and that just gives definitions kind of a glossary they all pair together beautifully and if you want to buy them they're linked in the description below totally check them out the coffee roasting at home section of how to make coffee starts in section three it begins with a little introduction which gives you the history and the science of coffee roasting and then goes into three ways that you can roast beans at home these methods are a popcorn maker a skillet and a baking sheet so without further ado let's get into them you come over here, I have a little roasting station that I've set up with all of the materials that I'm gonna be needing. We have the how to make coffee book. We have an air popper. We actually have two. We need to talk about that later. We have a baking sheet. We have a skillet and then a variety of green coffee beans. I'm gonna make a whole video about green coffee beans in the future, but today we're just gonna be touching on this one variety from the Bodhi Leaf Company and it's called Mexico Macabre Organic Coffee. I chose this coffee because it has milk chocolate and cinnamon graham cracker notes and I was thinking that it would be so yummy if I could perfect this roast by Christmas time and turn it into a peppermint mocha. If you want to buy any of this to get started, there's links down below where you can purchase everything. And now let's dive into our first method, skillet roasting. So I have the skillet heating up over there to roast the beans. It needs to get to five hundred degrees which is super hot I've never heated up my oven that hot before I was kind of shook so please please be careful I burnt myself doing this when I was practicing and I don't want the same thing to happen to you be careful please now that we have that little disclaimer out of the way we need to measure out half a cup of green coffee I decided that the common factor in this little experiment was gonna be that we were gonna have half a cup of the same variety of beans for me it's the Mexican macabre coffee for you it can be any flavor that you want and now we're gonna check if the skillet is ready so that we can get on with the next step it's time for the fun part, a little bit scary, but mostly fun. We are gonna start roasting our beans. This skillet is hot, it's at 500 degrees. I'm gonna open the lid away from me because I can't afford eyelash extensions if the heat burnt it off. Then we're gonna pour them in fast. You don't need to do anything fancy, get them in. Cover it again, and then we're gonna shake for five minutes. If you don't keep shaking, you're gonna get an even roast, and then it's gonna be disgusting. So you need to get this right. So I think my pan got a little too hot. You need to buy an oven thermometer if you do this. I'm gonna put the link down below so I can buy one and you should do it too. But if you listen, we can hear the popping. So that only took like two and a half minutes because it was so hot, but it has a nice dark sheen to it. Now I am cooling them down and then I'm gonna transfer them to the bowl, which is somewhere over there. I'm gonna work through this. I don't know what the video got to tell you guys, but when you're roasting coffee, it can have two pops. If you're doing a light roast, you can shoot for one pop. I wanted a dark roast, so I'm working on two. I'm working on my second pop right now because I prefer a nice, strong Italian roast. That was really intense. I'm literally sweating. <sighs> I will touch base with you guys when these are cool. So after that traumatic experience, I've been saying a lot of I like it. I did not like that. I'm not doing that again, but this is our yield. Very nice and burnt. We're gonna leave them in the blue bowl. And now we are gonna take a little regrouping moment, refresh my makeup, and then move on to the popcorn maker. Now that we have recovered from that scary little skillet number, it's over there cooling down, never to be used for roasting again, we're gonna move on to roasting with popcorn makers. Now you might be wondering, why do you have two? It's not to roast more beans, it's to show you guys the correct one to buy because I made the mistake and ended up having to spend extra money I didn't need to. When you're buying a popcorn maker to roast with, you need to buy one without a mesh bottom. It kind of looks like a mesh sub or a little grate. You don't want that because when you're roasting, the chaff, which is kind of like the shell of the beans, can come off, get 
stuck in there gets stale and explode and you don't want to have another fire hazard so this is the incorrect one because it has the grate this one is right because it has just a nice open canister to roast in so we're gonna move this one out of the way and then dive right into the roasting process roasting with a coffee maker has been my favorite form of roasting at home that I've tried so far because there's no hot appliances to burn yourselves on and it's very straightforward it's like making popcorn you take the lid off you put your desired amount of beans in that's half a cup for us and then if you're aiming for a light roast, you turn it on and you wait about four minutes until you hear the first crack, then you should think about kind of cooling them down a little bit. If you're going for a dark roast like me, I'm gonna wait until I hear that second crack, then I'm gonna pour them out, sev them to cool them off, and then we're gonna have our second roast done. Let's go. We just finished our popcorn roasting roast. It's supposed to take four minutes to get that first crack. It took us about 10 minutes to get to this color that I want, but I am so, happy with it it looks nice and fairly even now i'm shaking it to cool it down the beans are darkening a little bit from where they were at the 10 minute mark because they're cooling and deepening in color but i'm so excited to try these i know i shouldn't be saying so excited we're working away from that but it's genuine this time i'm gonna cool these guys down and then i'll show you what they look like so i just finished cooling these guys off they're done they're colored very nicely i actually went to go make an instagram story that i was roasting to prep for tomorrow's video and i tagged the author of the book and she said it's looking good and if you want to follow my Instagram for stuff like that. It's Adel Grayson. Anyway, we're going to pour these into their bowl, then pop them by the other bowl, and then it's time to move on to our final method of roasting, which is pan roasting. We are on to our final roasting method of the day, and that's just roasting on a cookie sheet. It's by far the least hands-on method. All you do is dump the beans on, pop it in the oven, and you're done. The oven is preheating to 500 degrees right now, which is again, super hot like the skillet, so don't burn yourself. To make sure that I don't burn myself when I pull them out, I've kind of made handles on the tin foil so that I can just be like, and done, put it into the sub to cool them down. We're just gonna dump the beans straight on and put them in the oven, let's go. I was literally just complaining that they weren't popping because they were getting dark, but they're starting to pop. They're kind of like jumping around. I wish I could show it to you closer, but we're looking through the oven light right now. I think they'd be like a light to medium -ish roast if I took them out, but we're gonna let them do their thing and then check back in like two minutes. Right now, we're about three minutes into the roasting process. They're about four minutes in the oven now, and I think some of them are already burnt and some of them are kind of where the popcorn roaster had them. So I think I'm gonna take them out in about 30 seconds and then let the roasting finish as they're cooling down with all the heat. Okay, so they are starting to smoke. This is gonna be the oh my. ah oh no. We're gonna let that the smoke alarm's about to go off, so do not be alarmed. It is fine. We're gonna turn off the oven. We're gonna try to get these bad boys out. Um, ew. Um, we've definitely incinerated them. I'm gonna <laughs> deal with this for a second, and then we're gonna come back. So we just funneled them off with a tin foil sheet really fast so that they didn't conduct any more heat. And now we're just kind of setting them out. I think these are gonna be disgusting considering how burnt they are. We're gonna let them cool down. They're probably gonna get darker. We will touch base with you guys when we've established what these beans finished products are. <laughs> I epically failed at these. I think if I were to use the oven roasting method again, I would sit and watch them like a baby, like not leave them until they're perfect. And I think it would only take about four to five minutes. So it wouldn't be like it's this hour long process, but yeah, if we take a look, they're completely black, charred. When they're ground, they're gonna be nasty. I'm probably gonna spit it out. Definitely not gonna say I like it for that one, but you know, we try. Never in a million years did I think roasting coffee was an activity that I could just pick up as a hobby. And I'm super glad that I did because I really wanna work on perfecting my bean, maybe even having my own roast someday. I definitely failed a couple of them, the skillet and the oven they were bad. I wasn't paying enough attention to the heat. I would definitely adjust my own recipe in the future. But I think the popcorn maker ones, they're looking okay. I am looking forward to grinding and French pressing them in a future video that's gonna be on Tuesday. So if you watch this video, subscribe down below, come back Tuesday, and we are gonna try all of these beans. But until then, that is all we have for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram to see everything in between and to get ingredient lists for these tutorials a week in advance. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.